Welcome everyone to episode 21 of the Wind Waker HD playthrough, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. We're back at Windfall, and as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty broke now. Uh, last episode we started with 5,000 rubies, now we barely have anything. So I told you, farming the ghost ship was a good idea, because look at our ruby count now, it's gone. But as you can see, I uh, decorated the town in between this episode and last episode. Let's see what this guy has to say about it. So we got 50 rubies, he's happy about the gate. So we actually got a lot of things to do in today's episode, like a, a lot. I wrote down notes for today's episode, this is the first time in this whole series I've had to write wrote down notes, because there's a lot of things I want to do today. So if you uh, decorate the town with, uh, it doesn't matter what it is, you can choose those little dinky flowers, if you decorate all 14 of these little pedestal things go over here and talk to this guy right here and he'll give you a piece of heart for uh, making the town looking a little bit more alive you don't have to do the inside ones but I did the inside ones anyway I mean I'll show you one building yeah like I just went all out and decorated the town you don't have to do the inside ones you just gotta do the 14 outside ones and you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter what figurine or whatever you put on it. So first thing in today's episode we're going to do is talk to this lady over here. She's really fond of herself for some reason and all we got to do is take a picture of her and show her the picture of herself and she goes all crazy. It's like she doesn't look in a mirror or anything. And for seeing herself, she, you get a treasure chart. Kind of weird, but whatever. And there's one more treasure chart we can get. And that's by talking to this dude right here. So we talk to this big, bad, tough dude over here. Show him these skull necklaces. Well, I guess you gotta talk to him, huh? He lost his pet pigs. Show him the skull necklaces. I don't know who he's calling a chum. I'm not a chum. If you give him three of them, we'll play this dumb little game. And we have two minutes to find three pigs. Go! Um, I actually don't know where the pigs are at. I kind of do. Uh, there's one. Ew, this one's like farting. I don't know what that is. Ugh. I think you just throw at them? I don't remember. Okay, so I'm doing this again. I realize you have to drop them and not throw them. Uh, I didn't know that. I forgot. It's been so long since I've played this dumb game. Why does he scream go? Like, it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, you gotta drop him. No! If you want to be efficient, you can, um... Like, crawl up on him. I guess that's the smart thing to do. And then you gotta drop them. Which I didn't know, I mean, I guess he's that blind. And then come over here. The last one's up here. Oh my god, I hate these pigs. If I were him, I'd turn them into bacon. There you go, not hard at all. And here's our treasure chart. The last thing we have to do is get that uh, treasure chart on the other side of the island. I have no idea what it is, honestly. Hopefully money. There it is.
50 rubies? That's horrible. So in today's episode, we're primarily going to be getting the remaining treasure charts. The ones we haven't found yet. The ones we haven't found yet are usually like the pretty weird looking ones. Uh, like in weird locations. There's a couple on platforms. There's um, a few on a couple islands we haven't visited yet. But we're going to try and get most of the remaining uh, treasure charts today. And get the second and third Triforce chart today. There we go. That's a good one. So we're going to check out Pawprint Island. This is right next to Windfall Island. I'll mark it on the map in a minute or two. So there's actually two caves on this island. There's one little weird egg looking thing. I don't know what you want to call this thing. But if you go down here, there's a couple treasures down here. I think there's a piece of heart down here. I think. A lot of jellies down here. Good way to rack up on stocking them up and selling them. Or you can give them to a scientist, which I'll show you in a future episode. See, so yeah, this cave isn't that big. There's like four different paths, I think. Here's the first one. I think this is the piece of heart. Yeah. I think the other three paths are primarily useless. But we'll get them anyway. Useless. We'll check out this one path down here. I don't think there's anything particularly useful. Yeah, 50 rubies. Okay, so we're out of that egg thing. That cave is pretty useless besides the piece of heart. There's actually one more secret cave over there. It's where that weird tree is at. And we're going to have to hookshot to it. If I remember correctly, this is one of the most intense caves in the entire game. If I remember correctly. Pretty sure there's a ton of enemies in this. Uh, best way to wipe this kid out is with fire arrows. Boom. Not hard, right? Well, I guess if you don't let them spawn enemies, it's not that hard, huh? Ah, I couldn't beat the third one in time. Ah, I messed up. Ah. You can't target them because, uh, they'll just target other enemies. So basically, you want to take out these guys first. Oh, I'm doing horrible. Oh, man. Okay, he should be dead. There's one more left. So, yeah, this cave can get intense if you let them spawn enemies. I think they spawn dark nuts, moblins whole bunch of other stuff, but... Where's the chest? There it is. But if you take out the whiz robes really fast, then it's not too difficult. Sweet, another treasure chart. So yeah, that's about everything we can do at Pawprint Island, located east of Windfall Island. Oh, and quickly, I'm just going to buy some bait from Beetle real fast because I'm almost out. Just figure I'd let you guys know. Alright, so we're back. 
We're about to go to the Forbidden Woods to, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is one of the treasure charts over there. It's, I always forget about, it's really easy to miss. It's on this little weird little island. Again, I, I always forget about it. It's in a really weird location. This is probably like one of the most easily skipped treasure charts. It's in the middle of nowhere. So here we go, if I can open it. Bam, treasure chart number three, I think. Now the next couple of treasure charts are on platforms. So we will be visiting a couple platforms in the next couple segments. So I will see you at the first one. All right, so we are north of Dragon Roost Island. I'll show you the map real fast. I don't know what island this is. Uh, Seven Star Isles, I think? Let me talk to the fish real fast. Yeah, Seven Star Isles, I was right. So there's not much, if anything, to do here. It's not even an island. Uh, there's a treasure we can get right here, and there's also a big squid here. According to that fish guy. So we'll definitely check both of them out. Sweet, more money. Alright, so here's the squid right next to the platforms. You can tell by seagulls and the rain. So remember I said, uh... Last time we fought a squid, uh, bombs take them out really fast. Something I didn't know. Okay, that should do it right there, right there, yeah. So these guys are no big threat to us. I used to be so afraid of these as a kid, these little squid, or they're not little, but squids. They're so easy. Nice, a piece of heart, we'll take that. Alright, so if you come to these platforms, I don't think we've ever gone on a platform yet. Most of them are full of junk. But this one right here, is, in particular, is good. If I can uh, make it up there. You're like, who's here? These are uh, sea whiz robes, these are pretty rare, I think there's like one or two in the game. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. I think there's more. Yeah, that's junky. Boom. There's probably one over here now, right? There's two of them. Oh. Too slow. Ooh, let's see if I can hit him from here. Boom. This is the good one right here. Another treasure chart. Alright, so I'm here on Southern Fairy Island. This is the one you can warp to for whatever reason. We're gonna uh, get this treasure real fast. And another piece of heart. Sweet. We're just knocking out those pieces of heart. So here's another triple platform one. This one has valuable treasure on it. Unfortunately, uh, we have to destroy all the cannons. I believe on this one. You can either use your boomerang, which is two hits, or you can just wipe them out with bombs. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Oh, sorry. Not really sorry, but... How did I miss? 
Okay, that's a way to kill those guys. Just bomb their little things. This is the one that should give us the treasure chart. Yeah. She get for sleeping on the job. All right, I think this is the one with goodies on it. For some reason, this one doesn't have a ladder. Bam! There's another one. Another one. Probably some rubies or a skull necklace. Alright, so here we are at Horseshoe Island. I remember I said these two were useless, like, I don't know, an episode or two ago? They're not useless. There's a treasure chart over here. I think I was looking at a guide in the original game, and in the original game, they're useless. But since the HD version has less Triforce charts, they put more regular treasure charts in the game instead, so... I think I was just looking at the wrong guide. And yes, I use a guide for like these last couple of treasure charts because, like I said, these treasure charts in this episode are in weird locations I don't remember. So there's a, a switch, magically activates another chest over there. Hopefully it's something good. There's another switch over here. That's probably junk right there. We'll check this one out though. Yep, treasure shark. Yeah, this is junk. But, speaking of golden feathers, I don't think I've ever described what they are. So golden feathers, kind of like uh, the butterfly necklaces, the joy pendants. We need to get 20 of these, and I've only gotten 6 in the entire game so far. You can get them usually from either pea hats or these annoying birds right here. So what I'm going to do actually is farm these birds, and like, how do you farm the birds? They're, they're dead. Well, if you just play the uh, song of passing, they respawn. Don't make me a liar. Yeah, they respawn. I think there's two on this platform, right? Yeah, there's two. I'm not going to keep going back and forth, though. So I'm going to farm these two birds until I get 20. Alright, so I think I'm going to have 21 of them. That's all, You only need 20, and that's it. And then we can finally leave. And we have one more platform that's important, I think. Alright, the next island we want to visit is this one right here. Star Belt Archipelago? I don't know, I could have completely botched the name. Oh, it's not really an island either, it's one of these... Shut up. It's one of these little things with just birds and pea hats or sea hats. But we're going to definitely get this treasure while we're here. Alright, let's see what it is. Again, like I said, really nothing here, I don't think, at all. Kind of a waste of an island, but if we go to this platform, this little, tiny, little, lone platform, there should be a treasure chart on it. I don't believe we have to kill the cannons, hopefully. Could be wrong. Oh, look, we get the green guys. Ooh. These guys are pathetically weak. And this is the last platform uh, for this episode. We'll probably visit a couple more platforms in a future episode. I think there's a couple with a piece of heart on it or two. But we'll check them out in a future episode. Next island I want to check out is Crescent Moon Island. Again, this is one of these islands that doesn't have much going on at all. We'll definitely take this as always. Alright, let's see what this is. Sweet, a piece of art. 
We only have four more hard containers left. So, yeah, there's pretty much nothing here besides one treasure. Nice and convenient to get. And two jellies. I think this is the only island with two of them. So that's pretty cool. Bam, another one. Next island I want to check out is Cliff Plateau Isles. So this is the last treasure chart I'm going to be getting this episode. There's a little bit of like a mini dungeon on this island, I think. Hopefully I'm right. Kind of got a parkour your way around. Boom. It's kind of like a little forest haven mini dungeon. Oh, this is nothing too difficult though. Do do do. Surprised these little things weren't using my dungeon, honestly. But let's see. Oh, trolled. Okay, I'm guessing I gotta kill these guys. Right, right? Yeah. This is probably useless in this chest, but I'll check it out. Okay, I was about to say, how do I get out? <laughs> but yeah, this is nothing too difficult. And then you just gotta use a fire arrow right here. And then we'll be in the center part of the island. And here's one of our dead tree buddies. At the very top is a treasure chart. The last one we're getting this episode. Whew. There's still a couple more we're going to get, but we'll figure that out later. Alright, we're here at Dragon Roost Island, and a couple segments ago I said we needed 20 feathers. Um, for some reason, this guy, uh, yeah, I'm the adventure guy. He likes feathers. His girl, oh, his girlfriend wants one. My bad. So... Show this guy the feathers. Sure, you let him have 20. And then he'll give us a piece of heart. Or an orange ruby. I could have swore he got a piece of heart, but... Alright, there's two more things I want to do this episode real fast. The next island I want to go to is Bird's Peak Rock. This giant island right here. So this is Bird's Peak Rock. Now this island is particularly important because there is a Triforce chart in here. There used to be a glitch where you can uh, kind of like go through the wall a little bit. I don't know if that works in the HD version. Alright, there we go. I did it right there. If you time it just right, you can like glitch through these bars. Thank God. And basically skip that entire island. I'll show you what it is in a second if you want to do it the legit way. So let's play the Wind Waker song super fast. And this should give us our second Triforce chart. Alright, to get out of that place you're going to have to save and quit because you can't get through the bars. But essentially what you want to do is you want to snipe out all the birds with your bow and arrow. And then, well, not that, take out the pear thing. Uh, 
control a seagull with a pair and then hit all the switches in the bird's nest. But due to time constraints and how boring that is and how horrible it is, I'm not going to be doing it the legit way. But I will be getting this treasure right here. And we got more money, yay. Finally, the last island I want to visit today is Needle Rock Isle. I'll grab you real fast too. More rubies. So if I remember correctly, this island it kind of has like the same concept of the last one. Well, oh, kill you. You kind of want to... Oh, I think you have to be a seagull and get a switch at the very center part of the island. So let me try that real fast. Alright, hopefully I don't get destroyed by these birds, bro. If they touch you, you or seagull dies. Yeah, there's a switch. Yes, got it. Sweet. And this should be the third and final Triforce chart. Oh, that's a piece of heart. Okay, maybe in this hole that's in here. Okay, this one, you just gotta shoot all the, uh, the torches. There's like s seven of them, I think? I don't know. Two, uh, there's one up here. Gonna have to have an MLG aim. How oh, did I not hit that? There's one over there. Boom, look at my accuracy. Uh, one up there. That was a horrible shot. That thing's in the way, the catapult. Wow, can I suck any worse? There we go. Uh, I want to say there's one more, but where at? Oh, I see it. It's kind of hidden right there. Lower it a little bit. Raise it a little bit. That should do it. Bam. Hundred rubies, yippee! Okay, so that's actually not on the island. It's actually right next to the island. It's this golden ship. I forgot about this guy. So he thinks he's all big and bad because he has a triforce chart, but he doesn't stand a chance. Oh wow, that actually hit me for once. Ow! Wow, these guys are destroying me actually, but that's okay. And this is definitely going to be our third and final Triforce chart. Yes, it is. Bam, there we go. Hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Deuces. Yeah. Alright, well, I just... Someone sent me a message. I forget the username. I'm sorry. But if you take a Deku Leaf and... No, not show it to him. And just blow it at him. It blows off their hat. I never knew that. That's awesome. So yeah, that's a little Easter egg. After all these years of playing this game, I, I never knew that. That's awesome.